This museum is packed with stories of this town, dating back to the Caddo Indians and even to its own namesake, Mr. William Pitts. But among the countless artifacts, by far its biggest and most controversial is the replica of the aircraft that beat the Wright brothers to flight. Or so the locals will tell you. <laughs> oh, wow. So here it is, folks, the Ezekiel airship. This medieval-looking contraption of wood and steel was dreamed up by a local Baptist minister and inventor named Burl Cannon. Inspired by a passage in the Bible, Cannon set out to conquer human flight. And in 1902, the year before the Wright brothers, many say the Ezekiel airship did just that, when it flew over a fence and safely landed in a nearby field. Okay, so the way this thing would have worked is that engine turned these four wheels, which turned the paddles, which pushed the air back and up into the canopy, which supposedly gave this apparatus enough lift to lift a human off the ground. It was groundbreaking. It was revolutionary. It was short-lived. You see, Burl Cannon attempted to take the airship to the World Fair, and it was destroyed by a storm. Now, it's got certain problems with it, aerodynamically speaking, and the engineers are sort of split as to whether or not this thing could actually fly. You know what? I think we need to ask the expert. After numerous requests, Reverend Cannon agreed to sit down with me. Well, not me, but Chet Garner, investigative reporter. Well, thank you for sitting down with me, Reverend Cannon. Um, so, you beat the Wright brothers to flight. Is that true? Well, to flight? Oh, we beat them brothers in everything. Let's see, push-ups, pie-eating, um, pinochle. Gotcha. Well, tell me about this Ezekiel airship. Well, now, I did not invent this ship. It was always there in the Bible. The book of Ezekiel, the wheel within the wheel. But it was that vision that helped me put humans into flight for the first time ever. Hmm, yeah, and did you get any photos? No, oh no, no. Was it published in the newspaper? Oh, uh, no, no. Your story has lots of holes in it, so why should any of us believe you? I'll tell you why, because I'm a Texan. <laughs> you're right, you're right, that's good enough for me. Congratulations on the very first human flight. Thank you very much, it was exciting. As you see, the story isn't exactly watertight, but if you do believe it, well then just a few blocks away is your Kitty Hawk. This is where the Ezekiel airship took its very first flight. Kitty Hawk is like a national park, tons of visitors, and then you come to the Texas Kitty Hawk and you get a chain link barbed wire fence and a bunch of overgrown weeds and a uh, bunch of empty propane tanks. It's a shame, really. I do declare from this moment that when I am president, not gonna happen. I will name this block a national park. And you can bet money on that, folks. <laughs>